On this episode, we're talking about the upcoming 2019 housing market. You ask real estate questions, and I answer them. This is the Ask Daniel Los Angeles Show. Welcome, everybody, to episode number 20 of the Ask Daniel Los Angeles Show. This is the very first show of 2019. So let's get started. Jim asks, how is the housing market going to be in 2019? For most of 2018, the market was going up and up and up. And then around September, we started to see a decline. And the reason why is because there's more, there's more homes for sale and the interest rates were going higher and higher. So buyers are getting a little, a little scared at this point. And we've seen over the last few months that the prices are going down twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. I've sold a couple homes in the later part of 2018 and I'm getting them 20 to 30 grand below the appraised value. So that goes to show that the data that we're seeing from six months ago really isn't relevant to today's market uh, because things are going lower. And for 2019, I expect that to continue for the most part. Interest rates are probably going to go higher up and inventory is probably going to elevate. There's going to be a lot more inventory that's coming up. So because of that, you know, we tend to be in a buyer's market. So that's what I expect for 2019 property values going down just a little bit don't no need to panic or anything it's not going to go down you know 40 percent like we did several years ago but we will probably go down one two three percent things like that so prepare for that eva asks we just accepted an offer from a lovely couple to buy our house what happens now now that you got your offer accepted, what's up next is the buyer's inspections. On a contract, standard says 17 days for them to be able to do their inspections. I think that's too long. I always counter the buyer seven days, 10 days max, but they're gonna come and do their general inspections. What you need to do is clean up your property as best as you can because the, the buyers are probably gonna be at that inspection and you want them to still be in love with the property once they show up. You don't want a big, huge mess. They come on by and they're like, you know what, this isn't the property that I thought it was. I'm gonna back out of the deal and they use the inspection contingency as an excuse to back out. So you want them to fall in love with the property again. So have your house nice and clean. Make sure all your all of your utilities are on so that the buyer can inspect everything with the property. So that's the next step. That's what you want to focus in on, the inspection period. At Forte Legacy Group asks, Daniel, I'm a real estate agent and I currently have three homes listed. They've been on the market for many months. In fact, I lowered the price on two of them. What's your secret to selling? The secret to selling your home is you have to analyze the data. Now, six months ago, the home across the street with the same bedroom, same bathroom count sold for a million dollars, and you would think that your home would sell for a million dollars today, but that's not the case. The market has shifted. We're more in a buyer's market, so you have to adjust for that. So the, the data from six months ago is kind of useless at this point. You have to be able to adjust it. So maybe now you're at 975 because that's what I'm seeing in the market. We're going down 20, 30,000 from six months ago. So you be, have to be able to price your home accordingly and tell your clients, you know, tell your clients that this is how the market is now. And when you're taking the listing, you might even want to discuss uh, a price drop strategy. So in the first two weeks, if you don't get any type of offers, you automatically know that a price that you're going to be dropping that price once that two week mark comes up and you're going to be dropping it down an extra 25,000 or whatever the case might be. So these are strategies now that we're in a buyer's market. You have to discuss with your client when you're taking the actual listing, not during the listing, because you don't want to surprise your clients with anything. You tell them before set expectations. Michael asks, what is a statewide buyer and seller advisory? Statewide buyer and seller advisory. So what this is, is a disclosure from the seller to the buyer, telling the buyer to investigate the property. They want you to look at any easements against the property, any environmental hazards, 
any mold issues that the property could have. Check on the square footage of the home. It goes on and on and on for 14 pages. They're, they're gonna cover everything in this statewide buyer and seller advisory. And they want the buyer to know that they should check everything out that's wrong with the property. And the reason why is because they don't want, the seller doesn't wanna get sued in 10 years from now. The buyer's gonna say, hey, you never told me about the problems X, Y, and Z with the property. And the seller's gonna say, yes, I did. I told you to investigate that in the in page nine of the statewide buyer and seller advisory. So this protects the seller from getting sued later on down the line. It is telling the buyer to investigate everything with the property. That's it for episode 20 of the Ask Daniel Los Angeles show. If you're not following me on Instagram, what are you waiting for? We have over 15,500 followers now at Daniel Los Angeles. You keep asking real estate questions and I'll keep answering them.